Prosecutors say he used cowboy boots to stomp his wife to death. Rodney Hauser's murder trial got underway today in Whitley County. News Channel 15's Janice Allen was in the courtroom and has more details from News Control. What's at play in this trial isn't whether Ronnie Hauser murdered his ex-wife Deborah, but whether he did it on purpose. Nothing to say at this time. That was Rodney Hauser as he left court today. As you heard, he had nothing to say to us. His defense attorney is asking the jury to consider a lesser charge of voluntary manslaughter. That would take into account that Hauser didn't plan to kill Deborah, but acted in the heat of the moment. Today, pictures of Deborah's battered body and those cowboy boots were submitted as evidence. Prosecutors spent a lot of time talking about Rodney and Deborah's volatile relationship. Deborah's adult daughter, Amber Kunkel, was the first witness called. She testified that most of the couple's arguments were about the couple's 10-year-old son, Garrett. The man who originally went to police about Deborah's disappearance also took the stand. He is the one Hauser went to for help to get rid of evidence and hide the body. Get this, he says Hauser came to him with a bag full of bloody clothes along with Deborah's purse and cell phone. He told the jury that Hauser told him, quote, I offed her and put the boots to her. As you can imagine, it was an emotional day in court for family and friends. Deb's daughter didn't want to go on camera. She did tell me, though, that she's not buying the defense that Hauser acted in the heat of the moment. The trial picks back up at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I will be back inside the courtroom, and we'll have the latest for you tomorrow on News Channel 15 and also on Wayne.com. We will stay on top of it until a verdict is reached. Reporting in News Control, I'm Janice Allen, News Channel 15.